welcome back. So today I wanted to do a nighttime routine, kind of like a day in the life, but like a nighttime routine of a mom. I haven't done one of these videos in a long, long time. This video was actually highly requested off of Instagram. A lot of people were DMing me and asking if I can do a nighttime routine. I, um, I don't normally like doing nighttime routines because I kind of find my nighttime routine pretty basic. Um, but I guess I will go ahead and do one. So normally our nighttime routines, if we're not busy, if we're not going to any like sport events, sport games or anything that our children are involved in, it's pretty basic. Literally, I just picked Naraya up from school. We are in our pajamas already because today was pajama day for Naraya, they have um, Dr. Seuss week because Dr. Seuss's birthday on Friday. So today was the pajama day. Well, all of us are in our pajamas already. I mean, I have a little bit of makeup on, so I kind of have a skincare type of routine that I have for that. That'll be like a separate video if you guys want that. Um, but basically, I picked Naraya up from school and um, I haven't really did anything much but that because I kind of knew I already wanted to do this video. So I just wanted to come on with an intro because normally I don't start intros off on my like morning, nighttime routine videos, anything like that. So I was like, you know what, this time I'm going to start with an intro. So anyways, I will begin. All right, everyone. So normally I start my nighttime routines taking the kids to the park after school when I pick Naraya up. But as you guys can tell, it is a rainy day. It has been raining nonstop all day. Plus, it was pajama day at school for Naraya. So they're in their pajamas right now. Normally, now they're going to be on their tablets or watching a little bit of TV before we get into our routine. So that's what they're doing now. And of course, they're always thirsty. So I made a fresh batch of tea. They love tea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give them some tea, sit them down in their little area that I made for them on the table and they are going to just drink their tea. And then I like to give them some snacks. So I, today I'm giving them animal crackers as their request. So. Yeah, they're just gonna relax and drink tea and eat their animal crackers. Do you take the cookie? Who took the cookie from the cupboard? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Yeah. Emma took the cookie from the cookie jar. Yeah. Who? Me? Yes, you. Yeah. Couldn't be. Normally during snack or after snack, I like to read them a book of their choice. So today was Who Took the Cookie? So that's what I'm doing now, as you guys can tell. And since today's Friday, I'm doing sandwich night. Normally we'll do like sandwich night or pizza night. So today's sandwich night. The kids are very picky, so I'm very limited on what I give them. So I'm just making them a, a like a quick dinner. I did a turkey sandwich for them. I added cheese and then I'm just gonna put like um, jello and chips on the side and then they pretty much eat like I don't know Naraya is very picky though so it's very hard to get them to eat something that I want to do for dinner so I always have to like incorporate things that they like so then I'll set them up and they'll pick out what they like first and then I have to force them to eat the main course so I mean I love sandwiches so it was it was really good sandwich for me but I don't think see how TJ took the turkey out they like pick at stuff that they like I feel like all kids are like that and it's nice when you have that one kid that will eat everything uh, TJ is the one that'll eat everything Naraya is the more picky one but yeah we're just having dinner together And I always like to have Naraya help me to give her some like cleaning skills and stuff like that. She's already old enough to do it, so I'll have her 
help me wash the dishes, sweep and stuff like that. So tonight she is going to help me wash the dishes and vacuum. So right now we're just washing the dishes together. And it's also very nice because we have conversations and stuff and she's learning at the same time how to wash dishes. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Now, after dishes, they always like to do like coloring or puzzles, and Ryan's really into puzzles right now, so they're going to work on coloring and puzzles before we start vacuuming and the rest of our nighttime routine. And then I just go to the living room and clean up a couple of things that were like messy and get the kids to help me and then I get Naraya to vacuum and then whatever she didn't vacuum up I'll go over with and vacuum again. And now it is bath time for the kids. I like to take them baths at night because it's really cold in the morning and I don't want them to get sick. So we do bath time at night. And then they get their pajamas on and their socks and then I comb their hair and get them all ready, nice and clean and fresh for bed. I love to brush Naraya's hair out at night because it gets tangled in the morning if I don't. So we always have to spend time brushing and then they get to run around and play for a while before they get tired because the bath makes them sleepy already and then running around makes them extra sleepy. So Naraya's at that age where she'll go to bed by herself and I'll tuck her in and give her a kiss, but TJ I have to put to sleep. Hey everyone, so it's currently Friday and I didn't get to finish my nighttime routine because um, I totally forgot just to even get the camera, but pretty much all we did was our regular routine what I showed in the beginning and then afterwards after the kids showered and stuff I just brushed their hair and we laid down and watched movies and then I went and took a shower and pretty much did all my like skincare routine and then afterwards put the kids to bed and then I watched a little bit of Netflix because I finally get to watch TV and then I went to bed so that's pretty much our like everyday basic nighttime routine um, I didn't get to show that part though because I totally forgot about it but um, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little vlog at the end of it. So I'm just going to vlog a little bit. Uh, currently just dropped Naraya off at school and I'm on my way because I want to go to Dee Dee's um, just to see if I can find any blouses. I know they get new inventory every day. So what I went last time for, there wasn't anything there. So there could be something there today. I don't know. It's currently raining as well. So it's a rainy day. But um, Naraya took school spring pictures, um, I want to say like last week or two weeks. No, it had to have been last week. And they already got the pictures. Like, I was like, wow. But um, we only bought two 5x7s. Yeah, these are 5x7s. So we only bought two. And um, I want to show y'all. Um, so the school had called me and told me that she didn't want to take the picture and she was crying, throwing a fit, and that it was just all bad. And so I had went over there and I was like, oh, I already paid for the pictures. So the, the photographer was cool about it and she um, let me see the picture and I was like, you know what, it's not that bad. Um, and every kid has a school picture that's like, oh mom, why did you buy it? So this is going to be hers, but it's seriously not even that bad. She just looks like she's like the mean girl and she's just like, ugh. I don't want to be here type of vibe, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. So here's the picture. See, it 
it's not bad at all. I thought it was going to be worse than this when they were telling me, but it's actually really cute. Like, you can see her dimple. Like, it just, like I was saying, it gives off, like, her little mean girl vibes. Like, she looks like she'd be a mean girl. <laughs> but not, like, in a bad way. But, like, um, I don't know. It just looks really cute. Can y'all hear the rain? Um, but, yeah, this is her spring pictures. I really love the background. Uh... I had only bought the two 5x7s because we bought the huge packet uh, for her first pictures and I was just like, you know what, that was really expensive. So, And we didn't even give them out to anyone. So I, I was like, let's just get the two for us. But these are really cute. I like them. The teachers even like them. They were like, you know what, they're actually really cute. They're not bad. Like the photographer was kind of making it seem. But um, yeah. What are you saying? Say dada. Dad. Say dada. Dad. Teacher's being a happy camper shopping with mommy. There's a lot of people here. I think I think it's because like taxes. So everybody's out like shopping. And I'm over here on a like twenty dollar, thirty dollar budget. <laughs> All right, so we just got out of Dee Dee's, and I actually bought some cute stuff. I only spent $25. I was so happy, because I was, like, thinking, dude, I'm going to spend, like, $35, $40, and that wasn't my limit. I wanted to only spend $20, because I only need, like, a couple of shirts, because I really don't have anything cute. Like, I'm just wearing the same clothes all the time, like, since before TJ was born, and I never buy myself anything, so I was like, I need to buy myself something. And I see people with pile-up carts, and I'm like, I feel like, I was like, why is everybody here? Like, it's it's 12.48 on a Friday, and there's so many people inside Dee Dee's, that's why I didn't get to film, and the line was so long, and I'm thinking, like, what the heck? So I thought, oh my god, it's the taxes, watch. So then I told the lady, I was like, you guys are usually this busy? And then she's like, no, she's like, usually we're not, she's like more like on Saturdays we are and I was like oh no. and she goes I think it's because it's tax season so everybody's coming and buying stuff and I was like oh okay I was like damn I wish I would I wish I was having that tax money um but I got this shirt it's really cute it has like little ties right here I think it's off the shoulder I didn't really try anything on I just kind of like go by if it's gonna fit and this is in small and it was only $5.99 And then, because I have a lot of high-waisted pants that I bought on Fashion Nova, and then I bought, like, two more online, so I was like, I need, like, crop tops and stuff to go with them. This one was only $5.99 as well, and I love that it's, like, off-the-shoulder type of hanging thing. So it's really cute. Like the back. And then, this is my favorite. Like, this is my ultimate favorite. I don't, like, usually get cute white shirts because I can never keep them clean. But I couldn't pass this one up. So there's that one. And this one was $6.99. This is the more expensive one out of every, out of all the shirts. But, I mean, $6.99 is still not expensive. Like, that's super cheap. And then I wanted just something, like, comfortable and casual because I never, like, have anything. This is only $3.99, which I couldn't, like, pass up. And it's so cute. It says, me, sarcastic, never. It's, like, so me. And then it has, like, a little pocket right here. And then it, like, kind of rips up the end. So I really like this. And it, I feel like army style is kind of in. So, yeah, that's all I got. Four shirts for only 25 bucks, like you can't beat that. Normally I spent about like 40, 35 on like only like three, four shirts around this price. I mean around this much stuff. And I only spent 25, which is not bad. It would have only been like 20, because the tax and stuff. It would have been only 22.96. And then you add on like $2, so it's like 24.62, so basically 25 bucks. But, I mean, it's not bad. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to go to my mom's job. Uh, she's going to be coming over tonight. And she wants me to pick up money from her. So that way I can already have a Mia Ned's pizza. So by the time she gets off of work. And it's currently, like, raining right now. So I'm, like, kind of scared to drive back home. But 
I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to go to my mom's job and I'll bring y'all along.